Well, it's been one night. It's the morning. We're going to go ahead and check these fish traps to see what we caught. Probably some weird stuff and hopefully a couple pinfish because we're going to use them to go cobia fishing. <laughs> God, look at them all. Oh, I see something in there. Bunch of grass and no bueno. Yeah. Wrong kind of fish in the trap. It's one bait. What are those kinds of fish? Just all running? Uh, a lot of those were grunts, actually. Okay, so that's failure on fish trap number one, but we're gonna go check our other one. Maybe we got a little more lucky. But we did get some reef fish. There's a bunch of grunts and uh, some other kind of like weird bait fish in there. The other trap. So you're gonna turn the idle off on a boat so the boat's not really forward. He uses the gas, grabs it just like that, gets a handful of grass. Ooh. Oh, now that's what a fish trap should look like. Be careful for you sticking your hands in your fin fish trap. Oh, yes. It's a big catfish. Yeah, he's got like this gigantic freaking spine on there. Look at that. You do not, oh, and there's two of them. They look very mean. Goose wants to eat the catfish, not, not a good idea. And you grab him by the spine, and out they go. You throwing out grunts? Uh, yeah. Snappers, snappers. Big little baby mangrove snappers in there. So you gotta make sure those grow up to be bigger. A lot of grunts again. What are the blue and yellow ones? Those are pinfish. Pinfish. Oh, so that's what we're going after. Yes, that's awesome. what we're going after. Still not a lot, so we're going to go get borrow some from a friend of mine. He says he's got a trap that's full of pinfish. Ah, it's good to have good friends, right? And then they get crab in there. Watch your hands. So that's how those fish traps work. You use a bunch of chum, it draws in all these reef fish and all these crazy fish, they come in, and then you just leave it out overnight, and then you can go collect your stuff. But watch out for those catfish. They got giant spines. They would hurt. We got a big old one down there. Yeah. Hey, that's cool. My trap sucks. Here, I'll back over. It's pretty shallow in here, be careful. I put it in a little closer than I wanted yeah, to. we're good. Crazy stuff. Turtle. Okay. A little baby turtle? Oh, it's a crab. Turtle? Just kidding. It's a crab. My eyeballs don't work. We know this. You need to work on your eyeballs. Uh oh, we got another catfish. No, this is some goofy. Heck, these things are. I don't like them though. Uh, oh, it's one of those lizard fish, isn't it? Oh, there is a crab in there. That's <laughs> feel good when you grab, grab a hold of them. Uh, See bye -bye. you later. <laughs> He's out. Alright, the rest is going on his bait. Oh, now. Nice, but... oh. oh, Terry, a cobia fillet. That's a fair trade, right? We got bait. Welcome back to Mikey Balls Fishing. We're out here chasing cobia and snapper. I think mangrove snapper? mangrove snapper on basically what are wrecks like 30 miles 40 miles 50 miles offshore crazy distances so it's kind of spooky but we are going to see if we can't drag some of these hookup jigs as well as these like modified carolina rigs with pinfish like we caught in the fish trap on the bottom kind of like this you can see there's barracuda swimming around and uh pick up a couple it should be an interesting experience once again getting outside the comfort zone and learning completely new things as usual make sure to like and subscribe if you like catching cook videos if you like catching big fish because that is kind of what we're chasing today because i like big fish make sure you like and subscribe and turn on notifications dude so you don't miss these videos right mikey balls fishing you gotta you gotta love it all right let's see what we can do <laughs> Send it to the bottom. Full send. Nope. Stay strong, guys. We're going to have Snapper. <laughs> All right, guys. We got we got ourselves a freaking big old mangrove. It's not as big as Valve, but 
Do you have to grab these in any special way? Do not put your finger in their mouth. Good shot. All right, guys. Breaking the ice, mangrove. Throwing pinfish down on the bottom on basically what's a Carolina rig. I feel like I'm fishing offshore. I got all my deep stuff. I like big fish. All right, here's what we're going to do, guys. We got this pinfish right here. Go ahead, Go circle up. We'll go right through the nose. Just like that. And drop them in like that. And then when Val tells us to drop, which he just did, you're going to open your bell, and that thing's going to go to the bottom. We're in like 50 to 70 feet of water right here. There's barracudas swimming around, looking at her bait. But you want to get it down to the bottom. And then once your line kind of goes slack because you hit the bottom, you're going to go ahead and you're going to close the bail. So we just hit bottom right there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close the bail. And you're just feeling for bumps. Look at that barracuda. He's like, hey, give me some of that. On the surface here, we got some eel baits we just come out with on the gambler side. It's a 10 inch one on a three quarter ounce triple X hook. And then uh, we've got an eight inch one on a three eighths ounce that we can sight like cast to them if they come up to get in behind any sharks or turtles in the area or something like that. That's a fish! Oh, real? <laughs> she got it, Joyous! That was gonna help you a little bit. Oh, it's a giant! Oh, yeah. No, big nurse shark. Big nurse shark. Some nurse shark? Yeah. Shit. Giant nurse shark. Oh my god, here it comes. Oh my god. Dude. Giant nurse shark. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Get in there. Quick, quick, quick. Put your hand in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I touched the tail. Feels like sandpaper. Uh, what do you want? Like to snip it? Can you take advantage of their 10% off for new customers? Super sales promotion. For more info, visit them online at That was cool. <laughs> Guys, one last thing before we go. You gotta see this. You gotta see this. Look at the sea cow. Who is this? It's like a goose. Oh, sea cow. Oh, sea cow. Look at this sea cow. He's like a pig in Gucci body. Why are they so obsessed with fresh water? Uh. And that's all she wrote. Sea cow life. Moving on alone. In our next episode of Mikey Balls Fishing, we take on a sea cow as a pet. Stay tuned. Guys, that is a wrap on beautiful Florida Keys fishing. You know what? Getting outside your comfort zone, learning new things. We learned about snapper, two different kinds. The mutton snapper as well as the, I think it's the mangrove snapper. And then yellowtails too, dude. And we learned how to cook them and eat them too, which is probably the most fun part about this trip. Got stung by a jellyfish. Like, a few of them. Thank God they were like tiny, otherwise it would have been absurdly painful. It was like painful for like 25, 30 minutes, but it would have been a lot worse. But 
outside your comfort zone, you learn about new fish, you learn about different behaviors of fish. We know how to fish some wrecks. We know how to fish some, let's see, like yellowtail that are suspended off of ledges, off of reefs. Learn some cool stuff, learn about setups, you know, using that 20 pound like monofilament no seam leader with the braid to catch a variety of species. It's kind of like a universal setup, whether it's on spinning or bait casting tackle. Super cool to learn. I love learning about fish and how they behave and how they eat because I want to catch more and that's really the key to doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. I don't know if we'll be back in the Keys for a very long time, but it was a cool opportunity and that's why we took advantage of it. And uh, everything is lovely. Everybody's really chill down here. They're all just like, yeah, everybody drives 25 miles an hour. It's like super duper chill. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys throw a like down there and tell me some things you want to go see or some, maybe tell me what you're uncomfortable with, like fishing and things that you want to go and learn. Throw that down in the comments box. I'd like to see because I wonder if some of the things are the same things I'm a little like afraid of or apprehensive about when it comes to fishing. Things that I need to approach and try out. But tight lines, guys. I always love hanging out with you and peace.